this. I don't think you have anything to be ashamed about. Interest in adult film can be healthy as long as it's not habitual. So come on, how often? Three or four times a week. Okay, maybe I was wrong. You should be ashamed. <laughs> you have a real talent for making the subject feel open and comfortable in a safe environment. So you're renting it presumably to masturbate to, right? Good God. Well, come on. Don't be such a tight <laughs> We're all adults here. I know I'm an adult. How old are you exactly? I'll be 26 in March. 26? And you still haven't learned there are some things that are polite to talk about in public. If it makes you feel any better. I mean, I, I do it like twice a day. Good God! What can I tell you? I get bored easily. You, you're gonna get carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> Don't get all judgmental with me. You know, slouch yourself. Well, no, I... I just have a healthy sexual appetite. Well, why don't you go out and get yourself a boyfriend? Why don't you just go out and get yourself a girlfriend? I work all day. I hang out with my kid all night. So you would rather hang out with your kid than get laid? Yeah. Oh. That's kind of sweet. I'm kind of crushing on you right now, Trinky. Okay. Can I go home now? No. When was the last time you had sex? I would rather not uh, disclose that information. Oh, come on. Don't clam up on me now. You're going to remain anonymous in my paper. <laughs> Anonymity doesn't concern me. Embarrassment does. Why would you be embarrassed? Because it's been a long time. How long? A long time. Oh, come on, champ. Own it. Just put it out there. I swear I won't make any editorial cracks about it. Not in front of you, at least. <laughs> Seven years. Seven years? Since my wife died, yeah. You know, a dumbfounded, mouth-agape look of shock might be construed by some as an editorial crack, too. I'm sorry. It's OK. It's fine. No, it's not. I mean, it's not at all. With all due respect to your wife, you gotta get back on the horse, man. No, I don't, actually. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you... Get up. Are we done? With this for now, but come with me. Lord have mercy. Where are we going? To your place. We're gonna have some sex. Would you forget something? No. Look, I, I appreciate the offer. <laughs> Uh, very flattered. I can't do this. What's the matter? Don't you think I'm cute? Of course I think you're cute. Well, then? Look, I'm not just celibate because of my daughter. There are a lot of emotional issues in it, too. I mean, uh, my wife may be dead. I'm still very much in love with her. Hey, I respect that. I mean, look, I'm not telling you to fall in love with me here, and I'm not trying to replace your wife. I'm just talking about two consenting adults having some casual sex. Probably some really short casual sex with you being a little out of practice. I can't do it. I'm sorry. What are you, a monk? God. Let's look at this logically, OK? You rent porn and touch yourself, right? Would you lower your voice? Well, if you're not sweating how your wife would feel about you and porn, then you shouldn't sweat what I'm proposing, because it's the same thing. Only somebody else is doing the touching, and you're saving a $2 rental fee. <laughs> Come on, stud. Man cannot live on porn alone. 